On November 1, 2024, a significant delegation of retired U.S. Forces Korea, USFK, and South Korean Army generals visited Hanwha Aerospace's production facility in Changwon. Organized by the Korea Defense Veterans Association, KDVA, and the Korea-U.S. Alliance Foundation, KWASF, this visit highlighted the ongoing collaboration between South Korea and the United States in defense industry efforts. Among the distinguished visitors were retired generals Curtis M. Scaparotti, Walter L. Sharp, Robert B. Abrams, Lim Ho Young, and Major General Shin Kyung Soo. During the visit, they examined key production lines for the K-9 self-propelled howitzer, SPH, and the K-10 ammunition resupply vehicle, ARV. Shin Hyun Woo, president of Hanwha Aerospace's Public Affairs Office, welcomed the generals and emphasized the importance of such exchanges in adapting the ROK-US alliance to evolving security challenges. The retired American generals acknowledged Hanwha Aerospace's impressive manufacturing capabilities, particularly its ability to meet international demand through advanced automation. General Sharp underscored the potential utility of the K-9SPH and K-10ARV, noting that these systems could enhance U.S. defense resources beyond shared interests within the alliance. Retired General Abrams shared insights from his direct experience with the K-9A1 during his tenure as USFK commander highlighting its capabilities and pointing out the innovative robotic ammunition resupply system of the K-10. This visit coincided with Hanwha Defense USA's participation in the U.S. Army's self-propelled howitzer performance demonstration program. As the U.S. Army explores new self-propelled howitzer systems, the K-9A2 is a leading candidate. Hanwha Aerospace USA CEO Mike Smith praised the K-9 as the world's most proven self-propelled howitzer solution capable of delivering long-range firepower and performing effectively in both manned and unmanned operations. The K-9 artillery system, developed in 1999, is recognized for its exceptional firepower and mobility, with an extended range of over 40 kilometers. Recent upgrades, including a fully automatic ammunition handling system, allow the K-9 to achieve a firing rate of over 9 rounds per minute with minimal crew involvement. Supporting the K-9, the K-10 ARV utilizes the same chassis and can transport and transfer 104 rounds of 155mm ammunition at a maximum rate of 12 rounds per minute, thereby enhancing operational efficiency. In recognition of its efforts to promote South Korea-U.S. defense and economic collaboration, Hanwha was awarded the ROK-U.S. Alliance Award by the KDVA and KUASF. Hanwha Aerospace CEO Sun JIL accepted the award reiterating the company's commitment to supporting shared security interests. At the recent Association of the United States Army, AUSA 2024 exhibition, Hanwha Defense USA showcased the K-9A2, featuring an automatic turret and a firing rate of up to 10 rounds per minute. The K-9A2 is designed to integrate with Raytheon's M982A1 Excalibur guided munitions, achieving precision strikes at distances nearing 50 kilometers. Enhancements, such as composite rubber tracks from SUSE Defense, have improved the vehicle's weight and crew comfort, positioning the K-9A2 as a prime candidate for U.S. Army artillery modernization. Additionally, Hanwha Aerospace introduced the Grunt Unmanned Ground Vehicle, UGV, a next-generation model of the Ariane SMET, which offers a range of 290 kilometers and a payload capacity of up to 900 kilograms. Hanwha Systems also displayed its Integrated Warfare System, IVS, and an Advanced Maintenance, Repair, and Overhaul, MRO platform exploring potential entry points into the U.S. defense market. The K-9 series holds over 50% of the global market share for self-propelled howitzers, with approximately 2,000 units currently in service across multiple countries, reflecting sustained demand for this artillery system in diverse operational contexts. Looking ahead, Hanwha's artillery systems continue to evolve, with developments like the K-9A3, an unmanned long-range variant featuring a 58 caliber barrel designed for precision strikes exceeding 80 kilometers. The K-9A3 is engineered to support manned-unmanned teaming, MUMT operations, and meet various strategic artillery requirements. At KDEX 2024, Hanwha also unveiled the K-11A1 Fire Direction Control Vehicle, built for remote control of K-9A3 units, enhancing operational safety and efficiency. Hanwha Aerospace's expanding global defense market presence, coupled with its technological advancements in artillery systems and unmanned vehicles, illustrate South Korea's significant contributions to allied defense initiatives within the ROK-US partnership. As these collaborations deepen, both nations stand to benefit from strengthened security and defense capabilities in an increasingly complex global landscape.